What's good, family? What's good? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I want to holler at y'all if you can keep following me if I can, being on the Patriots. And I just want to holler at y'all, give, give y'all my take. I like it. I post on Instagram, I like it very much. I have some feelings about it. Let me tell y'all what my feelings are. First of all, let's start with the positive. What makes me like it, in fact, love this, Cam, Cam to me, I've been critical of Cam sometimes because sometimes he looks like a, like a tight end who's playing quarterback. Other times he looks like the character who shares himself to be Superman. Cam, to me, has always been a quarterback where he hasn't been coached really hard. And I say that because it's always seemed to me from the outside looking in, of course, I don't know. Where it's like, because he's so talented, it's like, all right, Cam, go in ahead and do your thing. Go ahead, Cam, you figure it out. <clears throat> They've given him simplic- a lot of simplicity. And from there, within that framework, they just let him figure it out. That's what I see from the outside looking in. And him being in a situation playing for New England under Belichick and Josh McDaniels, <laughs> I don't think he's ever had the kind of preparation he's going to get in New England. And that's, to me, the part that's very, very scary. Cam has already been an MVP. Now he's going to be in a situation with the most prepared football team in, in history. Yeah, you could say they come from cheating. But <laughs> like you're giving someone as talented as Cam Newton a uh, cheat sheet, basically. That's a crazy thought to me. Prospect for that is real crazy. I'm not concerned about Cam's personality. I think he's someone that galvanizes his teammates. You know, um, you know, with his celebrating at the touchdowns, et cetera, et cetera. I think, I think New England, the players will flock to that. Where I am concerned, people can talk about his health. I'm not concerned about his health now. Where I am concerned is, will his health last 16 weeks plus playoffs? I put a question mark there. Where I am concerned, main concern is here. Cam Newton's been the best football player on every single team he's been on. Since Pop one, he's an outliner kind of athlete. So because of that, he's been the best player. And because of that, he's been treated differently. That's not happening in New England. I'm say it again. That shouldn't happen in New England. Bill Belichick treats everybody exactly the same. Bill Belichick doesn't give two fucks what you did before. He don't give a fuck what you did on the last drive. He don't give a fuck what you did the last possession. He only care what he is the antithesis of what have you done for me lately? What are you going to do for me next? That's all he cares about. You're going to have to prove it to him. And you're going to have to keep proving it to him. If he... Bill Belichick's the, kind of, Belichick's the kind of coach, you get to four touchdowns, you go in the locker room, you're ready to celebrate, you're ready to get a game ball, and Belichick's talking about the throw you missed on third and eight, and why you had to punt, because you missed a throw on third and eight. That's Belichick, and he's going to do that, he's going to do that in front of everybody. Understand something, people. Tom Brady's been in nine Super Bowls and he's won six. And largely because of that right there is why he's in Tampa. Bill Belichick didn't give that kind of deference to him. The guy he's won all these Super Bowls with. What the fuck makes you think he's going to give that to Cam Newton? 
if Cam can understand and take that kind of paradigm shift from the way he's been treated everywhere else in his career. Yes, Cam's very talented. Yes, Cam is a dog. If Cam could take that, then the minimum pitch race, I think the sky's the limit. If their defense is intact, they'll be at least a certain level. And with the plays that he'll be able to make in that offense, him with Josh McDaniels, I think is a great the preparation he's going to get. He's not going to. What makes me excited is that he's not going to have to just do everything on his own. That's why I'm going to be excited. When I watch Cam, it's so much he has to do on his own. So much. And I don't think that would be the case in New England. That is the scary part. And I look at the division. I don't believe in the Jets. I like what the Miami's building. I don't think they're there yet. Buffalo's loaded. But it's all I like their coaching. It's all about Josh Allen. They should have won that playoff game. They had the biggest lose in that playoff game. But they lost. So I mean if it was still, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, if they didn't have Cam and they was going with the other young kid, then yeah, I'd give it to Buffalo, but with Cam. The division is still last. You know, you get your own playoff game, at least. The sky's are limit for the Patriots. If we have a season, I got a feeling the season's gonna end up getting pushed back at least a month, but that's just me. The sky's are limit for the Patriots. The sky's are limit for Cam. If he can understand that, they'll be just fine. That's my take. Those are my thoughts. Your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.